When we first came in, there were many, many seniors who looked me dead in the eye and said, you are principal number six since I've come to Carver. Principal number seven will not be far behind. Good morning, Ms. Vicky. You win their trust by, number one, having them learn. And so when they walk out the very first day, they realize, I learned something today. No, you shouldn't. No, tell them, tell them. What, what ACT scores you get? I got a 24. Next time I take it, I'm going to get a 30. Good morning. Can I talk to you? Good morning. Oh, 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 no. Good morning. Oh, my God. Thank you, Mr. Finley. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you will graduate. Carver is meant to be the model for the rest of the nation that you don't have to give up on the kids that are phasing out of a school that's being taken over. You know, I thought in this context, there's gonna be a lot of challenges. And in the face of those challenges, we, the kids, the teachers, myself, we need to be joyful in that, or else this is not gonna be an experience that's sustainable, even for the three years that we're here. You're in that moment when a child is refusing to do what you want them to do, that you know is what's best for them. You have to see the word or else I can't help you with it. I don't want to eat that class. I know you don't. I know that that's what this is really about. I know that being in that classroom for some reason makes you feel dumb. And it shouldn't. But I know that that's what you associate. When you're in that room, you don't feel like you want to feel. And what I'm telling you is courage, which is our last value, is that we actively pursue what we know is right no matter how it makes us feel. You want to be a better reader. I know you do. And we want you to be a better reader. You know we do. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how you feel about being in the room. Because feelings come and go. Today you'll feel one way, tomorrow you won't. And in 30 years from now, it's, who cared? 30 years from now, you're not going to care how you felt today. In 30 years from now, you're going to care, can I read on a level that allows me to read any newspaper I want, or can I not? And Ms. Cole has dedicated her day and this hour to make sure that you can read at that level. And you're, what you're saying is, I don't want to because it doesn't make me feel good. The 30-year Craig doesn't care how you feel today. The 30-year Craig will thank you if you walk in that room and learn how to read and will hate you if you don't. You take the extra moment to ask why and you realize that the why is because of this aunt who's sick or this um, fear of failure or and then you're sitting in that moment and you you connect deeper with that student and you realize this is the moment and I could not be happier right now because I actually understand you as a person so it sounds like you're playing things got out of hand you feel like he's laughing at you you get angry but you're also playing you get up and you hit him is that right okay Jerome and I were just talking that like sometimes we're just gonna make the choice to leave Right, so even if someone's messing, Miss Wabey, I just can I step out right now, and that's still, that's always fine. If you feel like it's escalating, it's always fine. Do you have anything against Jerome right now? If I left this room, would you guys start fighting again? This will be interesting. I have never done this before, where two kids have fought and then I've just like let them talk and get out of the way. Um, but I guess this is the best proof of whether or not this is really done. Um, because they could just start up again, and a lot of times they would. Um, so we're going to find out if they do or not. Do you have any stuff in the classroom? Okay. Can you wait for me outside? I'll be right there. What'd you guys say? Huh? What'd you guys say? Yeah, I was told my interview was playing. I got a couple problems. Yeah. Okay. So you can connect in a very negative way, um, or you can connect through depression or through uh, anger. Um, but we choose to connect and find the light in those moments. Okay. And it's fine to say, you know what? We made some mistakes, it's all done now, we're all cool.